Okay, 12, 13, 14 Passat brake lights are staying on or not coming on at all. This is the diagram right here. This is your brake light switch. It's attached to the master cylinder and this is the wiring. If you guys, for those that know how to read wiring diagram, that's the wiring diagram right there. Have an idea how they go. But I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain it in the video how everything works, where the switch goes, and whose power, whose ground, and where the signal goes. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, and let me take you through to the the wiring going to the switches to see which is which and where they go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is um, check the ground. Uh, you can see there uh, terminal two should be a brown wire and that's your ground okay if you don't have a ground there go ahead and ground it to the engine block or battery okay and make a clean connector connection okay and then your power should be uh, this wire right here which is a uh, WS and RT and uh, WS should be white and red okay number four that should be your power and then the uh, two should be your ground so if you get power and ground i would just replace the switch for now and take it from there replace the switch and take it from there if you get power and ground uh terminal four is your power and terminal two is your ground okay terminal four white and red terminal two is your brown and that's your ground at all time okay if you're getting those two replace the switch for now okay which is at the master cylinder and then if the replacing the switch doesn't fix it let's go ahead and do a continuity test from uh, terminal one of the switch to the ecm okay t94 number 24 uh, is a white and green wire uh terminal one okay if you got continuity there make sure the numbers is low like do an ohm test make sure the number is around like i told you in the around two two to three ohms if the number is too high, you probably have a corroded wire and you need to rewire this one right here. And also do a continuity test to terminal three. Okay. Uh, SW, that should be black wire and red. Black and red is go to the ECM T94 uh, terminal 19. Okay. So there you have it. Those are your wiring signals and your power and your ground. Okay. In the event there's no in the event you put a switch and there's no electrical problems you might then need a ecm right here j623 that's your computer for engine control unit okay uh good luck uh, if any other questions let me know post it on the down below there is a switch on the on the master cylinder Okay, make sure you install it properly. The location, it, it needs to be seated flush. Okay, make sure you see the flush, okay? Uh, this is magnetic and it works with the pressure of the of the master cylinder, okay? So, there you have it, okay? And torque the bolt number two to five newton meters. So, that's almost hand tight, okay? So, don't tighten it too much. You wanna make sure you torque it properly. And this is what you're supposed to get. Like, number one is a signal. Number two is the ground. So number two should be ground at all time. And number four should be power at all time. Or we key on, whatever. And then three is also signal. So you got one is a signal. Two is the ground for the sensor. Provide the ground. And three is another signal output. And then number four is the power to the ground, okay? 